Hello Geometry students, Mr. Gazzato here. Today's learning target is to find the missing base or height of a trapezoid when you know the area of the trapezoid. So the area of a trapezoid is one half base one plus base two times the height. Other teachers may write it as base one plus base two times the height all divided by two. Some people like to use 0.5. The area is 0.5 times base 1 plus base 2 times height or other variations. I'm going to use the green formula. So we know the area is base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. So if you look at the problem on the left, we can see that the first base or the top base is 3. We don't know the second base, so I'll leave that as a variable. Uh, the height is 2, and then we're going to divide this by 2. Then in the paragraph, it tells us the area is 8 square feet. Let me grab my pen here. So the area is 8 feet squared, so we're going to plug that in for A. So 8 is equal to 3 plus B. 2 times 2 divided by 2. Now there's lots of ways you can solve this particular problem. Um, me personally, I like to put this over 1 and cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply the 8 and the 2. And then I'm going to multiply 1 times the numerator. So when I cross multiply, 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 is equal to 3 plus b2 times 2. Then I'm going to distribute. So 16 is equal to 6 plus 2b. I'm just going to call it b instead of b2. Subtract 6 from both sides. 10 is equal to 2b. And then the last step would be to divide by 2. So b is equal to 5. And since we're finding a dimension, it is 5 feet. In problem number 2, we want to do the same thing, but we are not given a picture. So it says the area, or find the height of the trapezoid, if the area is 18 centimeters squared, base 1, 3, base 2, 5. So I always like to write down the formula. A is equal to B1 plus B2 times the height over 2. I'm going to plug in the numbers. 18 is equal to 3 plus 5 times the height divided by 2. 18 is equal to 4h, excuse me, 8h over 2. That becomes 18 is equal to 4h because 8 divided by 2 is 4. Divide both sides by 4. And we get the height is 18 divided by 4 which is 4.5, and uh, we're going to add the unit centimeters. Let's take a look at the next couple problems. So for problem number five, we can see that the area is 9.8 feet squared, and we're trying to find this yellow highlighted uh, base, so I'll call it B. So again, I like to write the formula. A is equal to base 1 plus base 2 times height over 2. So the area is 9.8. And that's equal to base 1 plus 2.2 times the height 2.4 divide by 2. Again, I like to cross multiply. So I'm going to put this over 1. And when I cross multiply, 9.8 times 2 is 19.6. So 19.6 is equal to base 1 plus 2.2 times 2.4. I'm going to distribute. So 19.6 is equal to 2.4b. I'm just going to call it b instead of base 1 plus 2.2 times 2.4 is 5.28.
<clears throat> we'll subtract 5.28 on both sides. We'll get 14.32 is equal to 2.4b. Divide both sides by 2.4. And we'll get that base is 5.96 repeating. Okay. Let's try problem number six. So looking at problem number six, I see that the area is eight meters squared. And again, I'm trying to find this bottom base. So formula area is base one plus base two times height over two. I'm going to plug in the numbers. Eight is equal to 1.6 plus B. I'm just going to call it B instead of base two times 2.5 all divided by two. Again, I'm going to put this over one and cross multiply. When I cross multiply, I get 16 is equal to 1.6 plus B times 2.5. Going to distribute 1.6 times 2.5 is equal to 4. So 16 is equal to 4 plus 2.5B. I'm going to take away 4 from both sides. 12 is equal to 2.5b. Divide 12 by 2.5, and I will get b to be 4.8. The learning target so far has been to solve for the height or the base. And then the third question here is a challenge. Let's take a look at the challenge. So for the challenge, we have a 30 degree angle. We know the one base is 14 and the other base is 5. We studied 30, 60, 90s in a previous unit. If I were to draw this altitude or this height of the trapezoid, that red line, I could see a triangle on the left-hand side. I'm going to draw that triangle over here. So here we have 30 degrees and the hypotenuse is 10. And if you remember from 30, 60, 90 triangles, you could label the hypotenuse 2x. The side across from 30 is x. And then the side across from the 60, this would be the 60 degree angle, would be x root 3. So knowing that 2x is equal to 10, that means we know x is 5. So that red line is 5, which is the height of the trapezoid. At this point, we could use the formula. Area is base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. We know that the bases are 5 and 14. We calculated the height to be 5, and we're going to divide that by 2. So then typing this into our calculator, 19 times 5 divided by 2 gives us 47.5 centimeters squared. So I hope you found this video helpful in terms of finding the height or the base of a trapezoid when you know the area.